hooliganism and violence has gone down because yeah. they, they stopped the standing rooms only where men were packed in together, they gave them seats, uh, a more calm, more bourgeois, more feminine way of attending a match yeah. is to sit yeah. down, not stand up. They invited women and kids to join more than so it wasn't an uh, all male thing. And, yeah. oh, uh, and so slowly began again, not by denying these feelings, but by attending to how they can get out of control. Um, I yeah, wonder, no, I, can I just yes, interject please. here? I think because I was going to protest earlier that I think sports culture just gets men all riled up to form coalitions that ultimately result in can sort of encourage each other in sexual assault on some level, and that I sports see. culture is not always healthy for male on female aggression. However, you just provided an answer. So, and it is to include families because when men are around their families and when men have little kids, they become, you know, they are uh, become more nurturing. There's some evidence that their testosterone levels go down. We see this in birds. And I wrote about that in the book where uh, when male birds have little chicks, they, their testosterone levels are suppressed so that they can attend to their chicks instead of going off and aggressing with other males and trying to find new mates. And if you raise their testosterone while they're supposed to be engaged in parenting behavior, they neglect their chicks and their chicks die. And then they have no reproductive success. And that's another, so, that's another yeah. point we need to make, which is that too much testosterone yes. uh, is bad for men. And it bad, it's also bad for reproduction. Yes. Because precisely for those reasons, that it, it, it's important for men to be around, to stick around their kids, to be part of the defense of the family and the, the, the nutrition of the family and all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, and if they are running around picking fights and, and betraying whichever partner they just had, they're not going to actually successfully um, ha put, have their genes carried forward. So test there's plenty of reasons why testosterone is there to be modulated and to be That's controlled right. and domesticity can actually reduce those levels as you said men who have children in the house i mean god knows how many of my straight children. friends tell me this the yes. minute they have kids they stop having <laughs> sex uh, there's just a, there's just something about that but then let's talk about this men want to have sex much more than women don't they yes. i mean and, and and there again in that simple fact you have oceans of literature massive amounts of culture of this mismatch uh, but it, it's kind of a mismatch but it's it's, it's a kind of brilliant mismatch because it, it somehow fits together in a way um because it tame, calms men down and and somehow also i don't know I'm, I'm i'm blathering now but but i see something beautiful in that yeah well i, I don't I see think, something terrible um, in it except it's, yeah, it's a no, bigger sacrifice to men well it's terrible of course when it causes social problems when, especially if there are, I'll just say disenfranchised men who cannot find partners and then they see high status men who have lots of partners and those disenfranchised men can't accumulate resources and really want the resources in order to gain a partner. So that is a problem. And the reason it is a uh, part of the reason it's a problem is because of this intense desire for a sexual partner among men in a way that I think is hard for many women to understand. But I, and I also want to emphasize what you've been saying repeatedly, which is there's tons of overlap. There's lots of women who, who want a lot of sex and a lot of sexual partners. And there's also plenty of men who use different strategies uh, and are really interested in just committing to one partner. 